How's it going everyone? It's me Ryan and welcome back to more Ruby Volume 8 Reactions. We are going to be getting into Chapter 13 called Worthy. Now, the layout is a little different than my other reactions. The reason that being is when Chapter 13 went live, I was getting myself prepared for it with my webcam and my microphone, going through it first time, and once I got done clicking record on my reaction, I didn't know about this, but my mic settings end up changing because of an update that happened on my computer, which caused the audio from my blue snowball microphone to not respond, and it was set to something else. I'm upset about it, I know it's a bummer, I'm sorry guys, I couldn't do a thing about it, because even if I try playing the audio file or drag it into Vegas, there would just be nothing at all. So I'm just left with no reaction at all, and I'm gonna be watching this episode again just to see if I missed out on any details. Like I said, yes, I know what happens in the chapter. I'm just gonna get straight to the episode itself, but the description for chapter 13 says, the best laid plans, and that's it. So it seems that with everything coming forward together with Team Ruby using the staff of creation to rescue everyone in Mantle to go to Vacuo. It's a one-way ticket to Vacuo was why I said in chapter 12. And with Jean and the others getting out the message which ends up failing miserably. This is where we're at now. I'm sorry if I can't think of anything else guys. I'm just really upset that my reaction got corrupted in the first place. But I'm just gonna go in chapter 13 again for the fourth time. I got my mouse on play and let's just get into it. Three, two, one, play. Warning, this content contains flashing lights which may potentially affect photosensitive viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, here we go again. I'm so upset my reaction got corrupted. So this is where you're gonna get guys, I'm sorry, but it'll be better next week. We said goodbye to all the things we loved. Gave up our lives just to find that it was not enough. We leapt in faith, left our solitude, our carefree peace. What we thought would change the world was just a childish dream. We failed to stop our own demise, the tragic ends before our eyes. Hope has no place here. Maybe the path that leads our way home will finally clear. Maybe the end we try to avoid is already here. Some roses will never bloom. Some dreams will rot on the vine. Some lives will end much too soon. Some evil will never ever die. The wars will not end in peace. Some heroes choose the wrong side. Sometimes it's worth it all the risk to fall and fight for every life. Oh, here we go, guys. <sighs> what do we do now? Get everyone to safety. We That's your next plan. plan. How? Without the CCT, there's no way we can tell all of Atlas to just step into a bunch of freaky magic doors. But there is. We use the portals ourselves and spread the word on foot. Exactly. Are we positive these things work? <sighs> Jean's the test subject. <laughs> no, Vama boy. <laughs> Nora and I will get people through the gates. Everyone else, keep to your roles. Remember, the evacuation is priority one, no matter what else happens. Mm -hmm. You sure you won't need more help? Shade is armed to the teeth with huntsmen and huntresses. Shade Academy. But we're about to throw a kingdom's worth of negativity on their doorstep. If anyone will need help, it's them. Exactly. <sighs> Oscar. Let's go. What is it? <laughs> They're all just hiding behind the stairs. 
That was real clever for Kirby. Everyone, ow! Ooh! <laughs> that one civilian dived back. I'm uh gonna need your attention. Uh Penny! She has her maiden powers! Fiona! Dude, look at this! Our job is getting Penny and the staff to back you up. It kind of reminds me of Avengers Endgame with the portals sure from Doctor Strange. We should end up just outside the city limits of Bakuo. Enough space for refugees, but still within range of communication. All right, I'll focus on masking emotions for as long as I can. Call for help as soon as we cross. Uh, we're in Bakuo. You gotta be kidding me! Where it's all sand. Which way is the city? Has to be here somewhere, guys. This sandstorm isn't just killing visibility. It's also killing communications. Uh, where are we? Welcome to Vacuo. Head down and follow everyone else to the exit. Uh, Cinder. Goodness. Your <sighs> friend Oscar was right. But the easy part ends. Here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this was so stressful to watch. About that? Neapolitan, was it? Now isn't the time to hold grudges. No. She's right to be angry. I know I haven't upheld my end of the bargain. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will yeah. get you Ruby Rose today. But to do that, I need to ask the lamp a question. <sighs> Say her name. The way Neo tipped her hat. The little trick she did. New. I do. What have Ruby and her teammates planned? <sighs> My goodness. So I think that was the last question. If it was, then another 100 years without question. Cinder knew Emerald betrayed her. After you guys broadcast the evac procedure, you'll walk through the portal at the CCT center. And when we're done in the vault, we'll take Penny and the staff. You tore this kingdom apart with nothing but your intellect. How about we finish what you started? Arthur Watts. <laughs> God dang it, dude! After seeing this chapter, I have no idea what's gonna happen in the finale. You have everything you need? Oh, believe me. This is everything I've ever wanted. Mm, Neo. <laughs> the way she swung her umbrella at the. at one of the Atlas. or Atlesian. We'll be back. Oh. You're live. Everyone can see you. Oh. What's the one that cut this communications off? Mantle. What we have to tell you is very important. Atlas is falling. But they gotta do that to our boy Bill, who can't even read the signs. What 
do you think a kingdom is? The people, or just the chunk of land they live on? Either way, it's over now. Yep. Onwards down. <laughs> Attack. Attack. Marrow's aura got depleted. They just left Elm, Crow, and Robin. Behind. Well, I see you're awake finally. That Atlas is falling under your watch. How does it feel, James? They. They've got the staff. That's right. You mm -hmm. lose. We both lose. Started with Crow, Robin, and Jacques, and Watts. Now it's Ironwood and what? Jacques. Oh my god, General Ironwood! I, I'm so... I can't wait to see what he's going to offer in Chapter 14. Right? Jock said, are you going to open it? He's like, yep. But. Sure thing. Oh my goodness. Rip Jacques. Jacques clip on tie schnee. Oh, this moment, dude. Could have predicted all of this. At least not without a little help from Jin. I suppose I have all of you to thank for This moment was so lesson. stressful to watch. Sometimes, if you want to win, you simply can't do it alone. Ruby! Oh my god. Yang. She sacrificed herself to save Ruby. And Gamble Shroud can't reach. It was right there. At the tip of it. But now... Oh my god, dude. I have a feeling like once you're in the void, you're never coming back. Of course, that's just me. This was so heartbreaking to watch. Just yang into the void. And now Ruby and Blake are going full Aaron Jaeger on Neo. They're like, I'm gonna put a stop to this. Penny versus Cinder, round two. I did. Her swords. <laughs> I'm guessing that's her semblance. Maybe, I don't know. Oh 
my gosh. Oh, wise. She was in a tough spot. Look at her! She's just on a glip. Now Blake's stressed out, doesn't know what to do. Autopilot. Vine. Glad someone made it. Watch for a tail. I need to make sure this thing's still armed. Uh, Harriet never learns. I'm no longer certain this is the most logical course of action. Do you really want to do this, Zeki? No, I don't. Harriet, the general is no longer in charge. Ruby and the nope. have used the staff. Atlas is falling. But its people will be safe. Unless you... It's the principal, Vine! It's about loyalty! Clover understood that! Clover would see this through! Clover's dead! And perhaps Clover was wrong, too. Don't he was dare. wrong, too. Exactly. He was... Important to you. <laughs> Harriet, you are not the only one. <laughs> Robin! And now Harriet's the villain. Crow! Yo, this moment of Crow is so amazing. Now Jacques is hacking the ship! I repeat, is anybody receiving these messages? Can anyone report status on the evacuation? No signal. Dude, that part, I was like, Winter, look out! Oh my god! <laughs> I chased a lot of shadows over the years. General Ironwood! Always expecting betrayal. Betrayal? Once did I think it would ever come from you. Yeah, who can you trust, Ironwood? I know what's best for us, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that staff. So... Consider this my last order. <laughs> Step aside. Oh my goodness, dude. General Ironwood was the goat. I've never wavered in fighting the enemies of this kingdom. And I won't start now. Ironwood versus Winter. I don't care what anyone says. I loved Ironwood playing the villain role. And he's become one of my favorite well-written characters of the show. I'm spent. Where's Penny? Couldn't she deal with the storm? Wait, Penny should have been here by now. Something's wrong. No. What? Why can't I? Oh dear. Ambrosius. Ambrosius. People enter from Atlas and Mantle on one side and leave on the other side with a one-way ticket to Vacuo. One-way ticket to Vacuo. We can't go back. And now the Grim. Oh my goodness, dude. This is bad. Oh my gosh. I'm not ready for this finale. Bro, Rooster Teeth really knows how to put us on the edge of our seats. Plus, right when the credits hit, I just immediately went to Twitter to see everyone's responses. Oh my god.
god, dude. This really defeated us. So far, the character deaths we have now, as of Volume 8 to Volume 9, we have Penny from Volume 3, who originally came back, Pyrrha from Volume 3, Lionheart, Vernal from Volume 5, with the addition of Cinder. We all thought Cinder was dead, but she came back. Adam from Volume 6. Volume 7, we had Clover. Now, Volume 8, we had three character deaths. I believe three. Jacques, Hazel, and Yang. We don't know where Salem is at. I have a feeling people are saying that Raven is going to create a portal to save Yang. And people are speculating that Yang is going to end up somewhere else. But I'm saying this right now because I've seen a lot of other types of media with voids in them. But once you're in the void, you're, there's no way of coming back. That's literally what I'm saying. But I feel like this might be the end of Yang after what this episode brought to us. But I don't know. I know a lot of people are saying, like, why do this to Yang and all that jazz. But with that said and done, guys, I hope you guys enjoy my quote-unquote reaction to this chapter. But I'm sorry if I didn't have a first-time reaction. But with that said and done, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's me, Ryan, and I'll catch you guys in the next reaction. See ya.